This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Control. Bravo team. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of Destiny. This is the PlayStation 3 version. I'm also reviewing it on PlayStation 4. You can watch both reviews and that makes you a better person. Or cat. This show is huge with cats. Your kitty loves Classic Game Room. It is your destiny to play Destiny. I think I already used that line when I reviewed the beta, but... It's still applicable here on the full version of Destiny being played on PlayStation 3. This is also available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and Sega 32X. It's amazing what that little adapter can do. Let's get this started for those unfamiliar with Destiny. It's a massive RPG action adventure first person shooter meant to take the rest of your life. And I'm not always into games like this. Games that are big for the sake of being big, but Destiny's really good because it's predictable and it works really well. I've described Destiny as Borderlands meets Halo, and the more time I spend with the game, the more I realize I'm right. I agree with myself. It's Borderlands meets Halo. You start out at level 1, and unlock new weapons and armor, shooting things for experience points and collecting uh, monies or whatever, battling your way through the universe to level 20. Or you then have to collect super armor or whatever infused with light to continue leveling up and collecting new new stuff. It starts off really easy, but once you get into the game and start tackling some of these strikes and later missions, it gets pretty challenging and does require a bit of skill. It's actually really fun. I like the style of the game, I like the look and feel, and I absolutely love the music and sound effects. The thing with Destiny is that it's like a whole bunch of things from other games that you like all wrapped into one big game and then well executed. That, that's that's Destiny. There's a plot, but there doesn't need to be because the plot is, is irrelevant and doesn't make any sense anyway. It's all about the action and collection of weapons. There's a heavy emphasis on multiplayer and cooperative team missions, but you can also just enjoy the game by yourself as long as you're connected to the internet. It's one of these games where if your uh, connection is down or PlayStation Network goes down or something, you've, you've then got to go, you know, play your Sega Genesis. Enjoy games that don't need to be connected to the internet to work, like Musha, Herzog's Y, or Revenge of Shinobi. So basically, no matter how much you pay for Destiny, you're just renting it, because at any point they can just shut it down and force you to buy the next one. Ah, the future of video games. It doesn't even matter if your game console works in 10 years because the games won't. So hang on to that Atari, kids. It'll serve you well. That being said, the PlayStation 3 version looks pretty good compared to the PlayStation 4 version. I've got them both. And if you upgrade from a PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4, your game will continue where you left off because it's all saved under your PlayStation Network account or your username or whatever, and I imagine the Xbox thing works the same way. So, provided you don't lose your connection, you'll have tons of fun blowing things up with a wide range of collectible guns and missile launchers, and there's a few character classes to choose from, and lots of armor out there to collect, and you'll eventually want to start looking for the armor with light to increase your level. Apparently this is like the most expensive game ever made, and, and it doesn't really feel like it until you look at the big picture. 
For starters, it actually works pretty well. Destiny definitely sucks you into the gameplay, which is which is pretty good. It entices you to enjoy all that the game has, like the strike missions and Crucible to work a little harder and get some of the super weapons and super armor. And of course, there's DLC and new missions, so it's like the giant never-ending freemium model. The environments look incredible, I, I love the art design. And I already complimented the, the music and the sound effect. You know, it's just a good game that actually works, but don't go into it expecting anything you haven't seen before. It's like Diablo with more guns. You'll see what the PlayStation 4 version looks like in my review of Destiny on PS4, but the PS3 version looks very good, and if you've been on the fence about upgrading, do you need to upgrade to enjoy Destiny? No. Now the PS3 capably handles the game. The PS4 version will give you superior visuals, and occasionally on my PlayStation 3, some of these sound effects lagged behind the action, but that, that was really the only big difference. Okay, updating holiday. Well done. It's a big game, there's a lot to do if you enjoy games like Borderlands or Diablo or, you know, other giant first-person shooters or Halo, then I recommend checking out Destiny. It is your destiny to watch my review of the PlayStation 4 version of this game. Do it. Now.